fight you for this. Today our pirate friend is rises from in nature's breed. Strong is arm and keen is hand is he's a pirate now and he is the love to friends and friends and friends brings out the kids and dangers. Happy twenty-first birthday! One and twenty now he's rising and alone he's been to fly, which we're bent on signalizing with unusual rebel ride. It's the love to friends and friends and friends brings out the kids and dangers. Oh, 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 you rank as a full-blown member of our band! Yeah! My friends, I thank you all from my heart for your kind wishes. Would that I could repay them as they deserve. What do you mean? <laughs> Today I am out of my indentures. Today... I leave you forever. Hey? This is quite unaccountable. Keen a hand at scuttling a Cunardo or cutting out a P&O, never shipped a handspike! Yes, I did my best for you. And why? Because it was my duty under my indentures. Oh. And I am the slave of duty. Oh. Oh. As a child, I was regularly apprenticed to your band. It was through an error. Uh, an error? No matter. The mistake was ours, not yours. And I was in honor bound by it. What error? Well, I dare not say, for it would reflect upon my well-loved Ruth. <laughs> Nay, dear master, my mind has long been gnawed by the cankering tooth of mystery. Better have it out at once. When Frederick was a little lad, he proved so brave and daring. His father thought he'd apprentice him to some career seafaring. I was, alas, his nursery maid, and so it fell to my lot to take and bind the promising boy, apprentice to a pilot. A ship's pilot? <laughs> Life not bad for a hardy lad, though surely not a high lot. Though I'm a nurse, you might do worse than make your boy a pilot. <laughs> I was a stupid nursery maid on breakers, always steering. And I did not catch the word aright through being hard of hearing. Mistaking my instructions, which within my brain did gyrate, I took and bound this promising boy, apprentice to a pirate. Oh! <laughs> A sad mistake it was to make and doom him to this vile lot. <laughs> I bound him to a pirate, you, instead of to a pilot. <laughs> this afternoon, my obligation ceases. Individually, I love you all with affection unspeakable. <laughs> but collectively, I look upon you with a disgust that amounts to absolute detestation. Oh, pity me, beloved friends, for such is my sense of duty that once out of my indentures, I shall feel myself bound to devote myself, heart and soul, to your extermination. <laughs> No, 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 Frederick.
you conscientiously feel that it is your duty to destroy us, we cannot blame you for acting on that conviction. Always act in accordance with the dictates of your conscience, my boy, and chance the consequences! <laughs> and besides, we can offer you but little temptation to remain with us. We don't seem able to make piracy pay. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm sure, but... Don't. Well, I do know why. Alas, I cannot tell you. It would not be right. Why not? It's only... 11.56. And you're one of us until the clock strikes 12. And until then, you are bound to protect our interests. Well, then. It's my duty as a pirate to tell you that you're too tender-hearted. Oh, <laughs> for instance, you make it a point of never attacking a weaker party than yourself. Oh, <laughs> when you attack a stronger one, you invariably get thrashed. There's some truth in that. Then again, you make it a point of never molesting an orphan. Oh, well, of course not. I'm we're orphans ourselves yeah. and know what it is like. Yes. yes, but it has got about. And what is the consequence? Everyone we capture says he's an orphan. The last three ships we took proved to be manned entirely by orphans. One would think that Great Britain's mercantile fleet was recruited solely from her orphan asylums, and we know this is not the case. Frederick! You wouldn't have us absolutely merciless. Ah, oh, well, there's my problem. Till 12 o'clock I would. After 12, I wouldn't. Oh, was ever a man placed in so delicate a situation? Frederick! Frederick! Ruth, your own Ruth, whom you love so well, who has won her middle-aged way into your boyish heart. What is to become of her? Oh! He will take you with him! Uh, yes. Well, Ruth, I feel some little difficulty about you. It's, it's true I admire you very much, but I've been constantly at sea since I was eight years old. Yours is the only woman's face I've seen in that time. <laughs> I think it is a sweet face. Ah, it is. Oh, it is. I say I think it is. But as I've never had the opportunity of comparing you with other women, I just may be mistaken. True. Excuse me. What a terrible thing it would be if I were to marry this innocent person to find out that she is, on the whole, plain. Plain. Oh, Ruth. Ruth is very... Well... Well? Yes. Very well. There are the remains of a fine woman about Ruth. Yeah, yeah. Do you really think so? I do. Well, then. I will not be so selfish as to take her from you. In justice to her, and in consideration for you, sir, I will leave her behind. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. 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 No, Frederick, no, no, no. This, this, this must not be. No, no, we are rough men. We lead a rough life. But we are not so utterly heartless as to deprive thee of thy love. I think I'm right in saying that there is not one here who would rob thee of this inestimable treasure. For all the world holds dear. Not one! I thought there wasn't. Well, it's the top of the tide, and we must be off ourselves. The day's penance to be done. Man the forecastle, jib the topsail, hoist the websail, work the forecastle, cut the anchor, cut the anchor, pay the anchor, well found the ribsail, hoist the topsail. Frederick, don't swim. Take the dinghy, and when your process of extermination begins, let our deaths be as swift and painless as you can conveniently make them. I will. By the love I have for you, I swear it. 
Oh, would that you could render this extermination unnecessary by accompanying me back to civilization. <sighs> no, Frederick. It cannot be. I don't think much of our profession, but contrasted with respectability, it is comparatively honest. No, Frederick. I shall live and die a pirate king! <laughs> To live and die under the brave black flag I fly. Then play a sanctimonious part with a pirate head and a pirate heart. <laughs> Away to the cheating world go you. Where pirates all are well to do. But I'll be true to the song I sing. And live and die a pirate king. Oh, I am a pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. But I am. I'm a pirate king. You are a pirate king. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. It is! Hurrah for the pirate king! Hurrah for the pirate When I sally forth to seek my prey, I help myself in a royal way. I sink a few more ships, it's true, than a well-bred man or caught to do. But many a king on a first-class throne, if he wants to call his crown his own, must manage somehow to get through more dirty work than ever I do. Oh, I am a pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king, for I am a pirate king. It is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. It is a 